So here is the second problem which it states that uh, the current carrying components in high voltage power equipment must be cooled to carry away the heat caused by four nickel losses. It means a means of pumping is based on force transmitted to the cooling fluid by charges in an electric field which means that this is a mechanism these two are two electrodes and you are forcing these charges to move through this film to release the heat. The electro hydrodynamic pumping is modeled in the below figure. The region between the electrodes contains a uniform charge rho naught which is generated at the left electrode and collected with the right electrode. Okay. Calculate the pressure of the pump if rho naught is equal to 25 milli coulomb per meter cube and V naught is equal to 22 K. So this is the information which we have got so far. Now we are going to determine the pressure of the pump. So it is some sort of uh, pump. So we need to determine the pressure. So for this one we will employ Poisson's equation because there is a rho naught which has been given here and there is no particular shape which is available for us. So what we will do is nothing but our target is pressure of the pump, right? From our childhood, we have been using this particular formula. Pressure is equal to force per unit area. Now here, unit area, what I will take it as, this is a unit area of cross section. So I will take it as, yes, the force on these charges is to be determined. Right? Here the force is nothing but force on these charges. So force on these charges, how to determine the force on these charges? Now this is a charge density. This charge density is being driven by the electric field which you are applying here because this potential is creating an uh, this is the potential right at this point you are applying plus V naught here it is zero that is a potential drop so electric field you are creating which is driving these electrons so this can be written as normally force is equal to Q into E right but here, in my case, there is no Q here, there is a charge density. What I will do is nothing but integral V rho V. This is my force. Cut. Yes. So, this is my equation. So, I will write equation now. Pressure is equal to force per unit area. In my case, I will take it as yes, and force is QE. Q is not available for me directly, so what I will do is nothing but rho V dV. So this is my pressure equation. So I have used only simple physics equations in this one. What I want, I do have rho here. This is nothing but my rho. I don't have the value of E for me now. So what I should do now, I should compute first of all E and then I am supposed to compute pressure. So first of all, let us compute E. So how to compute E here? This is always a big question of how to compute E. Now, if you see, this region is can be simplified using Poisson's equation. Since they are saying that there is a charge which is there inside it, I am using Poisson's equation. Otherwise, I would have used Laplace equation. So, what is Poisson's equation? It states that del square V is equal to minus rho naught. Right. So, in my case, I do have a charge density. I do have this electric, uh, sorry, permittivity, which is also equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r. Uh, permittivity of free space into permittivity of, uh, sorry, permittivity of relative permittivity. This is my Poisson's equation and uh, you know that if you carefully see this region, I will show you the figure again. See this region, the dimension mentioned is only in z direction. So the initial conditions are if, d, if z is equal to 0, v is equal to v0. At z is equal to 0, this is my voltage v0 which is actually 22 kV. At z is equal to d, my voltage is 0. So, I will employ these two boundary conditions for my case. So, del square V is equal to this one. 
Now, in this del square v in this equation, what I will do is nothing but, you know, I will consider, since z has been given for me, you know, for Cartesian system, it will be x, y, z, for cylindrical system, r, phi, z, and for spherical system, it is r theta phi. So, it is already z mentioned. So, it is my choice whether I take Cartesian or cylindrical. Easiest choice is Cartesian. So, unless if otherwise mentioned, I will go with the easiest one. So, I will consider now Cartesian system. Now. So, in Cartesian system, what is del square v? Very simple. I don't know this particular value of uh, whether it is varying in this direction or not. So, I will ignore variation of x and y coordinate. So, I will consider only this particular one. So, now my equation is this one. Okay. So, what I will be doing now, I will be double integrating this particular equation. So, I will write this one as epsilon itself and I will now double integrate this equation. What is my equation now? Okay. Rho V, I have done it as rho just for easy point of view. If I integrate it once, it will become integrating with respect to z. So, what I will be getting if I integrate it? This is a constant, so here I will get z, some constant c1. If I integrate it again, here it is v, here it is rho by epsilon, this becomes z square by 2, this will become c1z plus this will become c. So, this is my expression. Okay. So, this is my expression of voltage. Voltage at any point is equal to rho by 2 epsilon z square plus c 1 z plus c 2. But here if you carefully see z is nothing but the dimension. Rho is nothing but my pressure of the oh sorry charge density. Epsilon value I know, epsilon is basically epsilon naught into epsilon naught. If I consider this as A, it will be 1. So, epsilon naught value I know it, it is 8.85 into 10 to the power of minus 12. So, if I want to do anything with the equations, I should eliminate C1 and C2 here. So, for this elimination, for elimination of C1 and C2, apply boundary conditions. Apply it's not boundary conditions, apply the known values. Employ the known values, okay. So, for me what I have seen in the figure earlier that V is equal to 0 at Z equal to D. But whereas V is equal to 22 kV at Z is equal to 0. So, I will apply this particular thing and also I know that rho is equal to 25 milli coulomb which is nothing but 25 into the power of 3 coulomb per milli. I will apply these things in my particular problem. Now. First of all, let us try each of these things. First thing is V is equal to rho by epsilon uh, z square by 2 plus c1z plus c2, right? So, at z is equal to 0, V is also equal to 0, isn't it? At z is, sorry, at z is equal to 0, V is equal to 22,000, right? Yeah. So, if I substitute this one, what I will get? I will get 22,000 is equal to 
rho by epsilon. This will become 0, this will become 0 plus c2. And now this is entire is 0, so c2 is nothing but 22,000. Now at z is equal to d, v is equal to 0. If I substitute it here, 0 is equal to rho by epsilon into this is d square by 2 plus this is c1d plus c2 I know it already 22,000 right so this is rho by epsilon right so what is my c1 here Right. I am just removing this term here and I am rearranging it. So, what I will be getting? This will be minus. So, this is my C1 and this is my C2. Now, I will employ these two equations 1 and 2 into my original equation. So, the revised equation is V is equal to rho by epsilon, this is rho naught or rho d into, yeah, I think uh, I need to look back for this thing. Yeah. The equation states that it is V is equal to rho naught by epsilon it is z square by 2 plus c1 z plus c2 right and uh, what is my expressions here at uh, z square by 2 so what is c1 value that we have obtained it is minus rho by 2 epsilon d it is minus rho by 2 epsilon d minus 22,000 by t right plus this is 22,000 by this is c2 value is 22,000 right and here I think I do have a still a value of z here so this is my voltage equation right this is c1 this is c2 now what I do need now is nothing but I want e which is nothing but minus del B. So in this mean my del operator basically it will be just like rho by dou x plus rho by dou y plus rho by dou z. Right. If you see I don't have any x y components here I have only z component. So my e I will ignore these things I will utilize only this particular one I will differentiate with respect to z. So if I differentiate with respect to z it is it will become z right plus here again what I will be getting here this z will go minus rho d by 2 epsilon this is minus 22,000 by d z will go plus this will become 0 this is my e vector and it will be in the direction of u z bar. So this is my e vector. This is also rho naught by 2 epsilon minus 22,000 by d. Right. Here I think I do have this particular minus value here. Right. So minus this will become plus this will become plus. So this is my new expression for this is my new expression for E now. So for determining the pressure, what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to apply rho into E bar 
dv by the surface area, isn't it? Now this rho is available because this was volume charge density and I am supposed to integrate it over the entire volume. Now if you have seen this figure, let me go through this one. Yeah, this is E bar is equal to, what is the equation which I do for? Minus rho naught by epsilon z plus rho naught d by 2 epsilon plus 22,000 by d, isn't it? This is my expression. Actually, this was also plus. So, I am supposed to integrate it now. Force, first of all, force is equal to integral rho e bar d. Right. I do have this rho value here, milli coulomb per meter cube. So, what I will do here now is rho into minus rho naught by epsilon z plus rho naught d by 2 epsilon plus 22,000 by d into d. Now, what is dv now? If you carefully see dv, dv is nothing but differential volume, which is nothing but if you see the cylinder here, they have already mentioned that this is a surface, right? Surface area is fixed now. The only thing which is varying is z direction it is varying and from it is varying from 0 to d, right? If I substitute this one, my entire dv will become s into d, sorry, s into dz because this is constant, only this is varying. So, what I will do here now is, I will take this dv, I will take it as s into dz. So, s is constant, rho is also constant, I will take both of them outside. So, here is for z, what I will be getting? I will be getting z square by 2 plus here there is nothing here. So, what I will be getting z plus this is the expression and z is to be varied from 0 to d. Okay. If I substitute then what I will be getting? I will be getting this is force. Now, if I want pressure, what I am supposed to do? Pressure is nothing but force by area, right? And what is the area, surface area here? The surface area is yes. So, this entire expression by yes. So, SS gets cancelled. So, the remaining yes, the rest of all the things which I will be having, I will be having this expression now. Okay. So, I will be getting somewhere around rho s into minus rho naught by epsilon z square by 2 plus rho naught d by 2 epsilon z plus 22,000 d by z which is to be varied from 0 to d. z will be varying from 0 to d. So, that I will be trying to do here. Okay. So, you know the rho value here. Yeah. Where I am supposed to remove s, right. So, here this is also rho naught. I know rho naught value here, I know epsilon value here. Rho naught value is already given for me. Right. Epsilon value also we do have. What is epsilon value? Epsilon value is epsilon naught into epsilon r. Let's take epsilon r is equal to 1. Epsilon naught is 8.85 into the power of minus 12. We will substitute it and we will get the values. Okay. So that's it from my side. Hope you solve the problem and get back to the next slide.